and never found out why he chose me to share his secret. Perhaps because we had similar dreams. But this... This was twice as fast. Twice as powerful as anything I'd ever thought possible. Though what that meant, I could never have foreseen. Incredible graphics. And colors. So many colors. The new Amiga CD32 Games Console. It's got the best games and it's twice as fast as any other console. Hmm. Not only that, but it also plays normal CDs. That's interesting. Yeah, soon it'll have full motion video so you can watch movies and stuff. Is that right? Maybe we should get one for the grandkids, eh, son? Great idea, Dad. The new Amiga CD32, available now at Dick Smith Electronics. Oh, good thing I didn't throw away the paint can. And it's your game. Enhance your life. Become a true CD32 master and reach a whole new level of gaming excellence with this brand new add-on sold at these fine retailers. Is this your idea of a great adventure game? Or is this... Introducing the Amiga CD32, the world's first 32-bit game machine. Years in development, Commodore's advanced graphics architecture chips allow finer detail than any competing product and over 250,000 colors on the screen at once. Combine this graphics power with the mighty 68020 microprocessor and CD stereo sound and the possibilities are limitless. The Amiga CD32 is far more than just a game machine. It can run most existing CDTV software. It's a state-of-the-art CD audio player with a graphical user interface, and it's great for desktop video and multimedia presentations, like the one you're watching right now. So when you're ready to break the barriers of traditional game machines, take a look at the Amiga CD32. It blows away the competition.
Why, you could easily win one of 200 Commodore Amigas with scrummy curly quivers. Or push over a new computer game starring me and my pal Giant. There are 10,000 to be won. Details on every packet. Watch out, computers have got curly. I am the Commodore Amiga 500 home computer. Dazzling animation at your command. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, a multitasking home office in your hand. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, total home video you control, and arcade quality games in stereo. And now, you can be everything I am. Many other models available. See your full service authorized dealer, Modern Business Machines. Imaginez que votre télé est un écran d'ordinateur domestique. Plusieurs ordinateurs offrent des graphiques assez fades, d'autres un peu moins. Enfin, il y a la nouvelle gamme d'Amiga 500 de Commodore. Avec plus de 4000 couleurs et un peu d'imagination, vous pourrez faire vos travaux scolaires, de l'édition électronique, de la musique en stéréo et même du traitement multitâche. Il en fait plus que certains ordinateurs qui se vendent presque deux fois plus cher. Seulement l'Amiga peut vous l'offrir à si bas prix. Or I'm her man, I'm Scarlet, and I'm, you know, sucked face Amanda. Well, she sucked a bogan, because guess what? So I gave back our assignments. I was so excellent, because guess what? I beat her. But then come she spat blood badly, because guess what? Mine just looks so good, because of my Commodore Omega. So is it. I might do homework more often, just to get Amanda. She's so furious and such a spat, because she hasn't got one. Suffer chronically, Amanda. See ya. It is the best machine that is around anywhere in the world. The professional machine of the future. How would I describe it? I think it's fantastic. Awesome. It's going to skyrocket. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it happen. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it happen. Amiga's got the guts to do things that you can't do on other hardware. And it does all the work for you. Wow. State-of-the-art technology at a price that everybody can afford. The Amiga is the best graphics machine available in the world today. Only Amiga. 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 Makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga. <laughs> Outrageous. Makes it possible. Fabulous. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga. This is it. Makes it possible. Let's get those boxes unpacked and take a better look at each component prior to putting everything together. For this example, we'll use an Amiga 500 system. Later on, we'll show you how to assemble an Amiga 2000 series system as well. Don't worry, you won't need a mechanics toolkit or any aspirin. The Amiga 500 contains all of the principal components that make up the computer. Called the main unit, you'll plug in all of the various peripherals you purchased to this central operating center. The main unit of the Amiga 500 includes a keyboard, a disk drive, the Amiga processing system called the CPU, or Central Processing Unit, some memory, graphics, and sound chips, and an expansion slot for future hardware additions. In the back of the unit, you'll find a number of connectors for plugging in peripheral devices, such as external disk drives, printers, and telephone modems. If we've lost you already, don't worry. We'll explain everything in a few minutes. Supply. There are two cables coming out of the power supply. This end connects the unit to the Amiga, while the other end plugs into the power socket in your wall. 
In the packaging for the main unit, you'll also find a device with a long cable attached to it. This is the mouse. We'll talk a lot about mice, or specifically your mouse, as this video continues. In another box, you'll find the monitor display for the Amiga. There are a number of different monitors available for the Amiga, but for this video, we'll use the monitor offered by Commodore. This monitor looks very similar to a television monitor. It includes jacks for plugging in computer signals, stereo sound, and video. You may have purchased some other components as well, including a disk drive, a printer, or a modem. Uh, we'll discuss all of them as we proceed, but for now, we're going to discuss the assembly of a basic Amiga 500 system. When working with computers, it's a common wish to get started as quickly as possible. Some people will jump right in forgetting to read the instruction guides that come with the computers. We suggest that you read through your Amiga user's guide for information on getting set up and using the operating system. Connecting anything, it's a good idea to check and make sure that everything is turned off. For those of you that purchased additional memory, your first step is to insert the A501 memory unit into the bottom of the CPU. The memory board is sensitive and comes packaged in a static proof container. Follow the instructions in the user's guide. Remove the cover of the memory slot, then carefully insert the memory board onto the slotted connector. Don't force it, but do use some pressure. Once it's snug in the connector, replace the cover onto the bottom of the unit. Next, attach the RGB monitor. You may want to mount it on the rear deck of the Amiga, but it would be a bit better if you could find a place next to or behind the unit so the monitor is on a stable surface. Now, before moving any further, let's make sure we have several items available to us while we learn how to use the computer. You will need the Commodore User Guide, the workbench disk, several blank disks, a pen and paper for taking some notes. Before you power up the computer for the first time, it's a good idea to check all of the connections to make sure there isn't anything loose or improperly attached. Once you're sure that everything is properly set up, you can flip the power switch. Within a moment or two, an image will appear on the screen of your monitor. If nothing happens, check to make sure that you've turned the monitor on. The display will show a computer disk and the word workbench. One of workbench. of computer users is that regardless of the computer they use, sometimes an instruction will cause the computer to become confused and to lock up. This is called crashing. When the computer crashes, all the data in its memory is usually lost, although the information on your disk will remain okay. The Amiga provides the user with a message indicating the type of problem. The Amiga uses a clever term called guru to signify the error. If you ever encounter a guru or cannot otherwise get the Amiga to perform, you will need to reset or reboot the computer. To do this, simply depress three keys on your Amiga keyboard at once, the left and right Amiga key and the control 